Hey there, we're on a date night and we thought we would just bring you along and update you. Date night as in driving to Publix to get a snack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag real life these days. I mean, when you have five kids, you lose your creativity a little bit. Um, yeah. So where have we been? I have not been feeling the best. I had to miss some life for a little bit um chemo really knocked me out and the weird thing is it was like a low dose of taxol and usually i don't feel that bad but this time it just knocked me out and i was so thankful to have help so thankful everything was covered yeah our dear friend dina is here full time and she is a wonderful friend of ours former pediatric nurse wonderful wonderful person who has uh, just Come family to us over the last five years. Um, yeah, so I met Dina at a salt and light Bible study up in St. Petersburg. It, it was a wonderful Bible study. When she first showed up, she had so many funny questions, and I just I really liked her right away. Um, and then just throughout that Bible study, we connected, and she um, she told me this recently, and I don't I don't even remember this because it was so long ago. But she said that I told her. I, I asked for prayer because all my kids had what she call it hoof mouth and foot syndrome <laughs> and she felt sorry for me and um, but I do remember that time actually all my kids had hand foot mouth Showing virus sign. oh my gosh Publix oh well, you can't see the yeah you can't see it okay we gotta cut that out I almost hit that lady oops go ahead so Have we Jesus loves you <laughs> we had um all our kids were passing around that awful virus and uh and you know when you have like three kids that's how many i had at the time that's it's rough when your kids get sick but she um she came shortly after that and gave greg and i our first date night in a long time and we've kept her around ever since and during this time she's basically living with us greg converted half his office into her living space. So I take my laptop to the clubhouse of our development. Some days and other days I work on the back porch because it's still relatively mild here in Florida. What is it? It's 79 today. That's actually kind of warm for winter, but it's going to drop into the fifties in a couple of days. Um, yeah, these drivers, it's hard to YouTube and navigate Florida drivers. Um, they're all a little crazy. But we have an appointment with Jane McClelland, who is the doctor we met in in West Palm Beach. And uh, we've got a Zoom phone call with her Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time to talk about um, treatment, very yep. specific treatment. We're dialing some stuff in and doing some stuff beyond the chemotherapy <laughs> that we are convinced and believe will be highly helpful, highly um, effective and all that good stuff. So, so how's the diet going? Um, it's going okay. We definitely have cheat days here and there, um, you know, and that might be generous, but, um, yes. we've changed. We're doing a lot of juicing and, you know, staying away from sugar the mo most of the time. Uh, we're not doing this perfect. Um, I'm really struggling. So I've been doing, um, my, it's like a cancer fighting salad where you put a ton of vegetables on there that have, have known, um, anti-cancer effects and also like a lot of spices and oils and vinegars. So I've been doing at least one of those a day and um, juicing one to two a day. Let's let's just confess our sins to the, the people. <laughs> Show them where we're at right now. Oh, it's a cheat day. We're getting a, a milkshake at Sonic. All right. We can't we, if we can't be honest with you guys. Who can be we'd be, be honest with? OK. All right. So. And I was, I was pretty straight, sugar-free and everything up until this weekend. I don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, and I'm trying to just stay away from meats. And I'm doing a pretty good job at that. But I feel like after I didn't eat for a couple days straight, I just kind of lost myself a little. And it's just hard. Yeah. And there's this, like, internal struggle, like, get it together you have a serious issue, so why can't you have more self-control? And then it's just this. That's the voice of 
that's the voice of the enemy though you know like yeah. that's not you know but it is like partly you know put on your big girl pants and just do what you have to do to fight this thing and so it's just tough so anyway our little mini date night here we we're at sonic and we we're getting milkshakes we we're getting three chocolate milkshakes we're getting one strawberry <laughs> milkshake yeah <laughs> and we're getting one strawberry milkshake for the neighbor yeah and, uh, thank the lord we we changed the clocks forward it's what it's i don't know what time is it eight o'clock it's eight o'clock no it's 7 30 and it's still sunny out like it's fantastic yeah and, it was um, pretty good it's just good to be outside so we've been super busy i'm super busy with work we're grateful to have dina um kristen hasn't been feeling well so we just haven't been able to do an update logistically like getting you and yeah. i together when we're not chasing the kids or you're not feeling well or i'm not working it's just been really hard but um we are grateful for the people that pray for us and yes our local church lowercase c the big church capital c which includes you know christians all over the world that are praying for us um it's just humbling you know like in my bsf group alone there's men on five continents so i can say there's people praying for us all over the world and that's really humbling and wonderful um but you know to to anybody who is praying for us and thinking about us like we're just so humbled and so grateful yeah and uh gosh i don't know how people do the cancer journey without a community especially a, a christian community um the one thing that god has just shown me over and over and over is that he is so good he is so good and this situation it seems like impossible to have five kids and to go battle this you know for Greg and I both but we know that we come we have a good God um, last weekend we spent it with some friends and we just had the best date night where we stayed the night with them and it was just wonderful and we are so blessed and so surrounded by good people and God is providing everything we need so thank you so much um, we will try to get back on here in one week. Yes, what she said. <laughs>